welcome to my review of Din's Curse. Um, Din's Curse is a RPG hack and slash, um, kind of a spiritual successor to the Diablo series of games where you basically run around clicking a lot, killing things and picking up fat loot. This game is largely about grinding. Grinding, 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 but it is very, very streamlined, and so it's actually kind of fun. Um, so, let's create a character. Now you have the standard character classes, warrior, rogue, priest, um, ranger, rogue, well I guess rangers are rogue, that sort of thing. But you also have a hybrid class, and a hybrid class lets you choose two specialities. And um, each main class has three specialities which you can combine. So I could be a gladiator and a healer. And I can combine those characters, um, those specialities, and play, a, play someone who has those strengths. There is a downside to it, um, which I think is that you get a different amount of skill points, less, so it's harder to advance as a hybrid character. But the end result is you have 141 character classes that you can play, which um, they are very proud of. For the sake of this demo, I'm just going to choose a very dull warrior. Um, obviously, as usual, they're easier to play. Um, uh, yeah, they, they're very powerful up front. So, let us create um, in the core. Oh, random name. Had Gary Harcourt Ranton. Pippin. Fred. Trivet. Patry. The Awesome. The Orso. We'll go with the Orso. You have advanced options, which um, hardcore mode, cursed mode, a whole bunch which you can check out. Um, okay. Uh, we will select a standard difficulty world. And we'll start off with easy. Now you create a new world um, which builds a, randomly builds a town and um, randomly generates a dungeon. And once you complete the main quest for that town, you regenerate another world and that's how you advance. You get harder um, enemies, you get better loot, that sort of thing. Uh, it comes with a really extensive help system which very easily teaches you how to play the game. Very good. I highly recommend playing it up front. For now, I'm going to turn it off so it doesn't get in my face. Okay, here's a town. Now, those little question marks are people who have quests for you. Once you complete a quest, they turn into an exclamation mark. Again, streamlined, very easy to find what you have to do. I am the god. So let's you. turn to... Though you serve no gods in your pathetic, despicable life. I have chosen to offer you redemption through service to me. And that is the entirety of the plot. This is the reason you're doing this game. you got to build up your reputation by completing quests, and I think once your reputation reaches a certain amount, then you win the game. Uh, yeah. Quests. Kill 11 cool tortoises. Um, you can accept, I think, five quests at a time, and you run around and do them. So, he wants me to kill 11 cool Torvas, and one possible location is Harrowing Hall level 10. Now, Harrowing Hall is the dungeon in this game. Um, and he's got no more quests. So, let's check our inventory. We have an axe, and we have money. We have 75 copper pieces. You get copper, silver, and gold. So, let's... Oh, I have... I can assign a skill point, so I can get a power strike, a perfect strike. Um, you get active skills and passive skills. Passive skills obviously just work all the time, and um, active skills you have to use. Let's just enter the, just go straight to the dungeon and um, see what we can do. So we fight monsters. This guy is just eating them up. Oops, he's hardcore. And by hardcore, I mean he's a strong warrior. Oh, skeleton key. That lets you open any door, any chest. As you can see, the monsters are fighting each other, which can be pretty useful. Though I don't think you get XP when they 
hear the chatter. Um, they're pretty easy, and I could have generated a harder world, uh, but they would have been harder. Of course, I get better loot. As you can see, very, very easy to find out, to find stuff. You just click on the title to pick it up. Um, they, the types have different colors depending on how strong the loot is. Um, how strong, I mean, you get magical loot, you get, um, I think it's called ego loot, you get sets. Money's automatically picked up. Nice. And barrels, no barrels. Okay, let's take a moment to heal. We can pop that guy in our quick slots. Um, you get, you have food, which heals you slowly, um, and obviously potions, which heal you quickly. So let's bash the barrels up. Now you see that means green, which means it's magical. It's unidentified, but I can identify it myself. If you're going to town, you get to identify all your stuff in one go for some money. So, this gives me 8 armor, plus 4% magic fine chance, plus 3% armor. It requires 4 strength, I can wear it. Right click to equip. Um, when you have different items, you can. if I had another set of greaves, I could hover over and it would show me a comparison of the two. Again, very, very streamlined. Now, in each level, you get an uh, activated gate, so that uh, when you're in town, you can go straight to a specific level. You don't have to go through the whole dungeon again. Did I mention it was streamlined? And we have a nice map showing us where we've been and where we haven't been. <laughs> and I'm just going to kill the people. Ah, oh, I made level 2. Guys, off. Okay, yeah, we see the gate on this level. I click and it's activated. So now I can go from the town straight down to this point in the level. Um, I got obviously not used on the first level, but um, once you get lower down, you want it. Basically, looking for the um, route down to level 2. <coughs> I can work on that quest. And here's, here's a chest. Uh, you can unlock it yourself, but sometimes they're locked, in which case you'll use a skeleton key. If you don't have any keys, you can bash it with your primary attack, and um, I, I think you'll get less stuff from it. And here's open the chest. That's not so good. Now you get these things called life stones or mana stones or things which give you all kinds of different bonuses or negatives. Um, stand next to it and it heals you. In this case, I don't need healing. And I got boots. Since I don't have boots, I'm going to put it on. So I'm not getting a lot of loot in this level, but I am a very, very newbie character. So it's to be expected. Okay, here we have a secret stash. Um, it just has some loot in it. It'll sometimes be obscured. But it'll just pop out of something. Magical soft leather gloves. Let's identify them. You gotta wear them anywhere unless they're cursed. Common former plus four percent fires and plus three percent armor. I'm gonna wear them. As you can see, my little guy's wearing gloves. Some people say the graphics aren't very good. Um, I think they're more than adequate, and the result it runs really nicely at high res on my PC, uh, which I'm not going to complain about. Okay, I've just found the entrance to level two. Um, let's go down. Oh, as you can see, I, I found a summoning stone, which summoned a guy to be in my party. Um, yeah, I've never seen that before, so pleasant surprise. And he came down with me, fantastic. Now he's fighting. Bad guys, yep, he's fighting. I wonder if I can heal him. Guess we'll find.
find out. Yes. Sweet. That's actually pretty cool. So obviously, it spells which will suck. As you can see, I found a rare wooden shield. It's yellow and it's cursed, so we're not gonna use that. We will sell it for money in the town. When I find the gate, I'm gonna head back to town and show you how the selling stuff works. Fight to oh, destroy the ice tower. Okay, as you can see, that's six cruel, cruel tawns left to kill. That's because I have that quest, and the very handily tells you what you still have to do. You don't have to keep track yourself. Again, very, very streamlined. Um, here's a dead body, which you can search. It'll have some meat on it. Again, all randomly generated. Short staff, magical. Can you see it's got a red background? That means I can't use it. Um, and it's not because of level cap, it's simply because it doesn't work in my character. You get buttons and triggers and traps and things, and the blast trigger will presumably bring down part of the roof. Yes, the tower can collapse, uh, like it did over there, and um, the NPC, the NPCs, the mobs will actually even use that sometimes to try and hurt you or hurt each other. Here we have someone who defends themselves and they have a quest which I apparently can hand in. So let's talk to them. Get information. Don't have a quest to talk to a record. So somewhere above ground is a quest to talk to her. Um, she looks a bit damaged. Let's give her some food. Great. So let's take this gate which I found here back to town and let's find out who has the quest to talk to Ulrika. But first we hand in our quest. Quests. Oh. oh, I haven't finished the quest. So, let's talk to these guys. Quests. Um, retrieve important info from Ulrika, and I'll get money and invitation and XP. So, let's accept that. Okay. Back down to the gate. Level 2. Let's talk to Ul Ulrika. Quest completed. I think I had to get information from her. You eventually stop reading the quest text and just click yes, yes, yes. Quest box jump. See this guy's information mark. So I hit the solve button. Bing, get my stuff. Um, you get these stashes where you can keep stuff. This player stash is just for this game. The shared stash is shared amongst the new characters. Uh, very, can be very useful. Okay, you talk to a vendor. Now this vendor um, sells certain things, vendors sell different things, but what's interesting is they'll all identify all your stuff and they'll all um, buy anything that you have, all for the same price. You don't need to go to the leather worker or the um, armor guy to sell your armor, you just sell it to anyone, same price. Again, very, very streamlined. Um, space bar sells. That sell that. You, yeah, I'm carrying a backpack which holds 12 items. You can find another three. Um, in fact, he has a pouch. I'll buy the pouch. Pop the pouch there. Um, open it. Bang! I can hold more stuff. So yeah, that's basically in a nutshell Din's curse. Um, you just keep doing that over and over and over. You get better loot. Um, and have fun. Let me just quickly show you my um, other character who is level 5 up to the level cap. Um, he has a bunch of magic stuff which he's picked up. You eventually stop buying, you very quickly stop buying stuff from the merchants because they just don't have good stuff. Oh, you can zoom in, that's cool. Um, he has a cool artifact sword which I got from saving the first town. Very nice. And, yeah, Din's Curse. 
give it a play, enjoy it. If you like Diablo, you'll really enjoy this. Um, it's quite addictive. Okay, bye-bye.